As you were sleeping, here's what's made the headlines. Rescue efforts are starting up again today in Italy. We'll take you live to the scene of the capsized cruise ship. Snow and wind once again battering the Pacific Northwest, and it's even forcing one local school district to delay classes today. We'll tell you who the lucky students are. And all new at 6.30, a new mother rushes to the hospital when she goes into labor, and it turns out, well, the weather she faced on the way there, well, that was the easy part. We'll explain. NBC5 News at Sunrise starts now. Hello, good morning, everybody. It's the 19th of January, 2012. I'm Ann McCloy. And good morning. Thank you for choosing Sunrise at 6.30. Austin Reed here. And we'll get to all of your top stories in just a bit. We always do weather first on Sunrise. Yeah, very rainy this morning. Cameron Laughlin live with What's Ahead as we're getting even closer to the weekend now. Hey, Cam. The Siskiyou Summit is a much different scene this morning. Check out what it looks like now from our tripcheck.com webcam. The roads are clear, rain has moved in, and temps are just above the freezing mark. This shot is near exit 11, I believe, exit 1, exit 1, and was just taken before 5. ODOT says with more rain today, drivers should not worry too much about the conditions, yet crews will be out patrolling all day. All new this morning, an Oregon father and his son are recovering after their car was swept away in a rain-swollen canal. Police in Albany say the water in the creek was even with the parking lot when the father accidentally drove into the ditch. Mm. Several people rushed in to help pull the man and one of his children out of the creek. This morning, officials not sure if there was a second child in the vehicle, which was washed downstream. Well, listen to this. All new at 6.30 this morning. A woman goes into labor in the snowy conditions up in Washington, but getting into the hospital was not her biggest problem. For Luke and Katie Thacker, the real drama began in the hospital elevator. Mm -hmm. On their way up to the delivery room, Katie, her nurses, and midwife were trapped between the 12th Ooh. and 14th floors. I was in such hard labor that I was just like, are you kidding me? Because I kept hearing the clinking, the clunking of the elevator trying to do stuff, and then the faces of people. She delivered inside while crews worked two hours to free them. Their healthy baby boy earned the nickname Blake the Snowflake Thacker. <laughs> Fitting, right? <laughs> Six thirty-five, and new developments out of Italy this morning, where divers have resumed the search for 21 people still missing after a cruise ship capsized off the coast. We have a live look for you this morning at the scene. Divers were back in the water after officials determined the ship had stabilized. This after shifting on the rocks, crews plan to begin pumping a half million gallons of fuel from that vessel. However, rough seas are forecasted for later in the day, adding an element of uncertainty. To the search. Oregon 38 closed between Reedsport and Scottsburg. That's due to debris flows and water on the highway. Snow and ice on Siskiyou Summit and on Highway 66, 97, and 138 carry chains or traction tires on all mountain passes. Sunrise at K 